Hello, I'm Alexander Siegenfeld, a physics PhD candidate at MIT. This poster is a high-level overview of a pedagogical review article I wrote with the nearby M. Its purpose is to concisely introduce some of the core concepts and principles of complex system science. Rather than consider particular configurations of complex systems, we instead take a step back and examine spaces of possible behaviors. A system's complexity profile measures how its space of possible behaviors varies with scale. Mathematical properties of complexity profiles allow for the analysis of complexity mismatches, as well as trade-offs between, for example, various degrees of centralization in political and economic systems. A multi-scale approach also informs how to model complex systems. Most systems have far less complexity at larger scales than smaller ones. Thus, while a full description of a system's small scale details is impossible, more important than how accurately a model describes these details is whether or not it correctly captures the system's larger scale behaviors. Standard statistical approaches, which assume that these larger scale behaviors are simply an average of the smaller scale ones, do not apply for many complex systems. Finally, even when armed with complex systems tools and insights, human understanding of most complex systems will inevitably fall short. To confront this reality, we must design systems that are robust to the ignorance of their designers by allowing for evolutionary processes to occur at multiple scales. For instance, when economic systems do work, it is not because free markets produce optimal outcomes, but rather because they allow for multi-scale evolutionary processes to naturally arise, resulting in innovations and in complexity far beyond what anyone could have imagined, let alone designed. Only systems such as these, that grow over time from trial and error and the input of many, exhibit the necessary complexity to solve the problems that exceed the limits of human comprehension.